Good afternoon, good evening, uh, good morning, depending on where you are. I'm back. Uh, first of all, apologies for anybody who came to find me yesterday. Uh, I was supposed to be streaming. I did say I would stream uh, some more Detroit Become Human, but I was ill. Uh, don't really know quite what it was. Just woke up, felt, had absolutely no energy whatsoever struggled to do pretty much anything all day um, feeling a little bit better today but I'm still pretty drained I suppose this is the way to describe it but I wanted to keep streaming I want to keep playing Detroit and keep up with sort of a a system I suppose of streaming regularly want to get into a routine with it so I thought I'd come at least for an hour or so today hopefully a little bit longer I'll see how I get on feeling uh, as as the game goes on when I've switched on the PlayStation and started the game today we got this message which is the the host I suppose of the game and she's asking if we're friends um, I've seen a lot of people say yes to this on other streams that I've watched them play in and I'm kind of curious what happens if we say no so I may push it uh, okay I'm gonna go no and see what happens oh I see no problem oh she's upset and now she looks very confused. I'm going to press continue and get on with this. Uh, so last time I left it, I managed to kill Connor again. The second time I've managed to do it. But I was saving Hank in the process. I saved him from getting shot. So I still feel like I did the right thing. Uh, and I'm curious as to how Connor is going to be. Um, because I'm assuming that he comes back. He gets another version of him. We've looked at the, the gravestone for the first version. Of Connor in the Mind Palace, so I'm guessing that there'll be two gravestones there now, and that he'll be back. But will he have all his memories and that kind of thing? Okay. Back with Kara. This trusses, Luther's neutral. Find help. Check the backyard, so I immediately go back round the front. Oh. Oh, she won't go back round the front, okay. turbines in the background. And the snow effects are fantastic on this. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Ah. Hope this isn't going to be another Come flat on. cow situation. It's better if we talk inside. I'm feeling a bit of hostility. Is it just me? Do you think we can trust them? Uh, going on past experience, no, but... I don't have a choice. What's 
What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Yeah. They seem like nice people. Maybe not him. Just have a look see if there's anything. Nope. Okay. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, that's cute. Oh, sorry, Lisa. Just the bed? Yeah, okay. Have I got to go around the other side? Nope. Oh, she's just doing it herself. Okay. Remove shoes. Layers, you see, the key to staying warm. Oh, this took a bit. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Uh, reassure. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Um, it is complicated. Scared. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Uh, sincere. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. More spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Uh, eat? You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Close the curtain. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Oh, Luther. I'll stay with her a while. We need to go talk to Rose. Thanks, Lisa. Nothing to look at up here, is there? Don't think so. No. Okay. Downstairs, talk to Rose. I'm always worried that you're going to miss little bits because of the the detail in the charts and stuff I didn't get your name I'm Kara This is my son Adam I'm Rose but you know that already Come and have a seat Kara Sorry, just having a quick drink. Drink of coffee. <clears throat> C. 
So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Let's be cautious. It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. Uh, Rose? You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Uh... Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Uh... Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. See, this ties into what I was saying about the comparisons. We've heard you help androids cross the border. With kind of the blacks and the slavery us? issues and androids being treated in a similar way. The only way is over the river and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. No choice. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! We see what's going on. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved oh. her more than anything. What will I do without her? Oh, that's really sad. Let's let them be. Is that some more RA9 writing on the wall? Oh, Alice. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Uh, oh. I'm gonna let her look. I know that's a bit of a weird thing to do, but... He made his light change. Come on, Alice. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! 
I'm, I'm like right and here, dude. This would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Well, that's all a bit awkward. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Something on the table. Let's go for this first, the magazine. <laughs> Who would win it? World War Three. Uh, fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? So this is again talking about the problems between Russia and America. Uh, America has less access to the area but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. US Navy stock with Trojan and Myr Myrmidon cyber life units which are specially adapted for marine combat whereas the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched. Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disruption, has described both US and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. So they're battling over the Antarctic. Okay. Treat yourself. Oh, that's Kara. Or rather the model. Is it? I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, no, there's some more things to do in here, right? Okay. There is widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Okay. Ooh. The police! Uh-oh. It's the police! What are we gonna do? Find evidence of demons. Shit, okay, so there's that outfit over yeah, there. The yeah? Hide the evidence. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. What else is there? Well, this isn't giving me a lot of time. Uh, Alice, obviously. Okay. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Okay. Door. Him. Nothing else there. Uh, reassure. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Okay, what else are we looking for? The door. What other evidence is there? Shit. Oh. Hide those guys. What else? Oh, 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 oh. Hide evidence. Okay. One left. What's left? Shit. 
I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? There's nothing. I guess we're answering the door then. Good evening, ma'am. What did I Sorry miss? To disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Shit. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Okay, so he's got no? like a suspicion. No, nothing week. in particular. Is anyone else in the house? Uh, yeah. There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Just in case she makes a noise or they make a noise. I don't want him getting suspicious. Do you have any androids here? I say no no there are no androids here maybe I should say Adam is I don't know if there's what's the other thing I'm looking for to hide is this a bit suspicious me just sort of doing a patrol Why is he not saying anything? <gasps> is it going down? Yeah. I don't know what the one thing is that I miss though. Hmm. Your daughter seems to have woken up. Miss, what did I miss? What's your name, son? Uh, Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The the androids. They. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. <sighs> no. I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. <gasps> Thanks for the coffee. Did I get Have a nice evening. Nice Is somebody else in the house? Um, um, washing machine. It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. <sighs> Good evening, Adam. <sighs> Whew. So what was the thing that I, maybe I was supposed to do something with the androids it's in okay, the other Alice. room? We'll be safe now. It's Rose. That was tense. My heart's actually beating because I thought I'd missed something that they were going to get. Get yourselves ready. 
We leave tonight. Okay. So... Did a couple of things when the policeman was there. Oh, there was something. Was this, does that mean there was something upstairs? Oh no, there was another piece of it. I wonder what that was then. That I missed. Uh, lots of things to do downstairs, but that cut before I could really do any more. Uh, and then that was the option as to when I let Alice go and look at the, the deviant that had shut down. Okay, let's carry on. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you... That's <laughs> enough! North's very aggressive. And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack okay. stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No I like violence. This, that it's kind of free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Talking about it. This is a night our people will remember. And you're actually starting the mission whilst he's still explaining what you're gonna do. I like that. Oh, something over there. Wait in a minute. Oh, it's just a magazine lying on top of a cardboard box. It's you, Marcus! Recent studies suggest there should be an android for president. Interesting. Let's just have a quick look at this. Following the pirate broadcast in Detroit, everyone wants to know who is this android? A federal investigation is underway to track the machine down and neutralise it, but law enforcement is being very tight-lipped about the details. Eyewitnesses claim the android broke into the Stratford Tower, Detroit's local TV news centre, with a group of accomplices. The machines were armed and organised, clearly following orders from this mysterious ringleader. Which brings us to the real mystery of this situation. Where did this android come from? How did it become capable of violence? What kind of malfunction could explain this behaviour? It's all Leo's fault. Uh, until the FBI develops this investigation, we can't be sure, but one thing is certain, until this dangerous machine is destroyed, the speculation will continue. Okay. You're famous, Marcus, you're famous. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Okay. The 
Stores over here. Ooh, but there's stuff to do over there. Yeah, I'm going over to this way first. Okay, you're a thing. Oh, here we go. <gasps> you can convert them. You are free. These guys, okay. You don't have to stand You're in the parking free. anymore. Oh, wait, it's follow north. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that just yet. Oh, another cleaning guy. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Yeah. To commemorate the invention of androids, which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue higher goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's, That's a cool sculpture. Something else over this side. Another one to convert. Yep. You are free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. When are the timer? What are we waiting for? Get into the store. Okay. Analyze the store window. Scout the area. Okay, we've got more stuff over. We're gonna sweep the plaza. There. Make sure we're not I'm disturbed. Okay. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? Exactly what we need to ram the store. Okay. I can do something with these guys, right? Can they not hack it, hack the alarms or something for me? Yeah, it's kind of. But then I can't actually. Maybe I have to do something else first. Okay, what's over here? Marcus!
There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. You're free now. something else to unlock so there's a truck in there we could use to ram that's the street workers right maybe if I analyze the window then they the can help system? me Found it. Neutralize the alarm system. Okay. I'm guessing. Just gonna take a guess. This. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Now we just Watch need out. to get the truck. You are committing a class 3 offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Oops. Stay where you are. You to watch out you said watch out but not what for oh i'm sorry next time you need to take cover i'll send you a memo yeah enough doesn't like us that's good oh shit shit that's what i just said okay they're coming marcus why can't i move oh okay yeah boy smooth You. you crazy or what? The cops were coming. I had to do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've I... got to hurry. We don't have much time. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Okay. Let's see, my popularity with North's gone down. How do I get in? There we go. Yeah, my popularity with North's gone down, but... What are we waiting for? I don't really like her as a character, so I'm not that fussed. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I 
wonder what you'd do without me. From the store window with the truck. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Again, that's really nice sound effects. Really nice sounds on this game. If you've got headphones on, it sounds awesome. Okay. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Is that her? That's mo North, there's a model. Oh. North, you okay? Ooh, we are Let's get some out of here. That would be pretty creepy, seeing a version of yourself. They have that thing, like the doppelganger thing, that there's supposedly people out there who look like you. And that would be weird if you actually met somebody like that. There was a photo online not very long ago of two guys who met on an aeroplane who looked very similar. Oh, we've got a speech. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us <laughs> and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. You're not going to mention the fact... Oh, I like that. Well, he's got the blue I'm and the green you. eye. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! With I'm, you. With you. I'm with you! Okay. <laughs> I didn't realise his eyes were the... I mean, I suppose I should have realised his eyes then were the different me. colour. But that's the first time you've actually seen them properly. Okay. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Yeah, he's not gonna tell them the bit about how they're being hunted and rounded up and stuff. Okay, so 
So we get to be aggressive or passive. Whoa, look at all the stuff there is to do. Okay. Leave a mark on every surface. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Uh, let's tag. Again, I'm not going to smash stuff. Choose our symbol. Okay, so two sort of triangular ones. The one at the bottom is kind of like the peace symbol. Um, I'm going to go for a kind of. Um, no, I don't know. Let's go for the fist. It's kind of got that Black Panther feel about it. Not the sort of Wakanda Forever. The original Black Panthers protest group. We have a dream. Yeah, I'm going full out like Martin Luther and civil rights. going to destroy stuff because I want to go the pacifist route. Ah, so we just turn them off. Okay. We'll get to these guys. What do I need to do to help them? I just said I wasn't going to destroy stuff. But to help these guys get out. Fine. Okay. banner or something. Meters. Yes. Some stuff over here. Oh, it's already doing that. Okay. Wait. Oh, so they're doing some of the stuff. Whatever I do, they kind of copy. Is that right? It's the greens, Marcus. Hi, Jack. Uh, 
Yeah, I thought that was all different things you could do, but... Can we do something to the school trip? This message is the home. Yes, we can. going to say what now? This message we freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Uh -oh. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah I know what I'm doing. Violence. Unless there's no other choice. No one's got some, like, serious issues. I'm going to spare them. I've just done all that for pacifism. I'm not going to then just shoot the police. We won't punish a crime with another crime. I would be interested to play this through again though with Marcus as a being more aggressive. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other uh. obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti 
was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they See, so this is interesting. So obviously, the news stories would be different, this is an alarming situation. depending on what Could you'd actually now be how you played out the game. Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Ooh. Yeah, so obviously if you played that out differently, if you'd done a more aggressive route and stuff, then... Ooh, because we spared the policeman. We spared the police and that us unlocked something. Marcus led a peaceful protest. So yeah, I'm guessing you could go really sort of anarchic and chaotic. So it would be interesting to play it that way. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's see how some people play this. Uh, oh, so you could get avoided by avoid the drone. Convert the androids, make a statement. Twenty-two percent refuse the Molotov from North. Hack the street lights. So again, there's more stuff you could do that I missed. 62% spared the policeman. 75% uh, do the pacifist message. See, that's it. I think most people, when you've played this game, you would want to do it peacefully to begin with because you want Marcus to be a good, a positive character, a, a role model kind of thing. But then I guess once you've done that, you then want to go back and do it the opposite way, which is what I would also like to do. Um, okay, I am going to carry on streaming, but I'm just going to go get a quick drink. Um, so I will be back in a couple of minutes. I'll just leave it on this screen for the minute. Um, I don't want to pause it or anything because that's usually when things break for me on here. Uh, so yeah, two minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's continue. Just get my hair out of the way of the microphone. Connor! New Connor! Oh, but Hanky's my friend!
Still immortal, huh, Connor? <laughs> In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Why is he being so horrible? Connor saved his life, right? lady from Hi. the game uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson Detroit Police Department I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky please come in okay I'll let Elijah know you're here but please make yourself comfortable Wait for the android. Oh, there's things to look at. Okay. That's Amanda, Amanda. right? Nice girl. Let's be sincere. You're right. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. <laughs> How's it feel? Hmm. Uh, indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. I'm gonna sit down. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Just like me, uh, I'm just going to close the doors in my room. Just the dishwasher's on, so you can hear, <laughs> if you can hear any glugging and stuff outside, that's what that is. Oh, she's back. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Is that one of uh, Carl's? Just a moment, please. On the wall. That's a bit sinister. I'm He's Lieutenant nice Anderson. House. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? 
perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that wrong? Virus? Help, virus. Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Hmm. Uh, neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Hmm. What do you really want? Ooh. Uh, uh, I don't know. Neutral. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. That's her name. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? He's a plastic containing a human? Whoa. Or a living being? Hmm. With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. I don't like this. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Now, I'm really tempted Psycho to pull the trigger. Because, again, I've seen playthroughs where they machine. don't do this. And I don't know what happens if you do. Endowed with free will. But then that'll ruin That's things enough. with Hank. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! <sighs> don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm not going to do it. I'm, oh, I want to do it. I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. Maybe there's no bullet in it. But then it's gonna oh, it's gonna ruin things with Hank. No, I'm not doing it. Fuck. <laughs> See, this is where the choices so the get really interesting as the game progresses. Humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'd love to know what happens if you I'm pull the trigger. I'm not a deviant. If anybody has, then message me and to tell me. machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. No, not really. I didn't do it for her. I did it for Hank. A war is coming. When I started the game, have to choose your side. I wanted Hank and Connor to have people, a good relationship. Will stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, 
I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Ooh. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah. See, that's why I did it. Did it for you, Hank man. Love you, bro. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so Hank thought Connor made the right decision. So I'm guessing this bit. Yeah. So if you shoot her, all of this can happen. And I'm guessing Hank thinks she made the wrong decision. Well, this is the heart to heart with North, I think. It's like Assassin's Creed. Is there a hay bale underneath? Oh, we're going to sit, not dive off. I was wondering where you were. Uh, alone. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Uh, we've unlocked it. They so. all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. She's really provocational. Uh, let's be determined. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Oh, we're going to talk about Carl? Uh, let's tell the truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. Do we have to ask her? Yeah, let's ask her. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Other North? Okay. <laughs> well, you could be aggressive. In the store. Why was aggressive an option you then? You were, didn't she? Again, aggressive. Uh, understanding. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me.
And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> so that I was have told you. So is that supposed to be she was at the club that Connor and Hank went to? Or is this a separate incident? Oh, I'm a bit confused. <gasps> I didn't... I didn't... Shit. <laughs> I didn't realise there was a time on that. I didn't connect with her. I don't want the relationship between them anyway. So, no big deal. I just didn't realise that there was... I was talking and there was a time constraint on it. He's alive! I thought he'd... Uh, he shot himself? Oh, you didn't actually see him shoot himself, did you? Okay. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Convert more androids. Okay. Androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Guy, right? All the cleaners are androids. Yeah. You're free. This guy, surely? The security guy? Yeah. You're awake now. This person? <gasps> person. This android, should I say. Come with us. Well. Finally. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Yes. You're free now. <gasps> hey! Where do you think you're going? You He's get back here! That's Todd, right? You stay right here, you fucking machine. He looks just like Todd. Hi. Listen to me. Want this android destroyed? You're free. So, what did he say? Did he say so? I need to block the street. Okay. I didn't actually do anything then. Building a little squad. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You're free.
Yeah. So this is going to be like um, a marching protest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, is that Kara? That's the Kara model, right? Yeah. You're free now. I love this section just for the music. I'm going to be quiet because I love this bit of the soundtrack. like how it gets easier to recruit. First you had to touch them, then it was a couple of buttons. Now it's just like the slightest touch of a button. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. <laughs> yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. No more slavery. Beautiful scene that. Now it all goes horribly wrong. But that's why I wanted to give that. Do it justice. It's quite emotional. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. 
But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying Ooh. here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. I'm ready to disperse. Let's just disperse. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. We've made our point, right? Affirmative. On my orders! <gasps> uh... Run! That's harsh. Yeah, Simon likes his. Come on, Marcus. We gotta go. They were gonna shoot us anyway, though, so. Surely it looked like we were doing the right thing. Right? Seems a bit harsh. Because they did what they said and they still shot us, so. Yeah, see, there's whole other section I missed there. If I'd some androids escape, run away, sacrifice self. Okay, I'm gonna do one more episode scene. <gasps> oh Connor Why won't you let me walk that way? Okay. I'm going to this again because every time I've come, I've pressed it. And then. Gravestones were over here, right? I don't want to talk to Amanda yet. Or are we on a different side now? Oh no, that's right, they're up here, aren't they? This is the way it's changed, how it's all dark now. I thought they were over here. Not. Oh, is that them? Yeah, we've got two down. <laughs> Sorry, Connor. Pay respect to our own gravestones. So that was Mark 1. And that's Mark 2. November the 8th. Yeah, so it's all sort of more dark and sinister now. Where was she? Back that way? Can I go over the middle? That might be easier. So the garden was all beautiful and daylight and flowers and... Now it's wintry and cold and dark. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just a light in the Zen garden thing. So, wait, where is she? She was around here somewhere, right? 
Oh, there she is. <gasps> On thin ice. Do you get it? Do you get it? He's on thin ice. I get it. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Ooh, we didn't unlock something. Okay. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Hmm. I'm not saying anything. Uh, Amanda's picture? Let's ask her. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. <gasps> He's getting she was sassy. a teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Uh, why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. I like how he's getting sassy with Amanda. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we. Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. Oh. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Breaking up the team. <gasps> Friend. <laughs> Talk to her. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Uh, regrets? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Hank gets Empathy's it. a human emotion. His facial reactions are great. Uh, troubled. I don't know why I did it. Friends? I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. Oh! With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. 
We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Come on, Hank. Help your friend The basement now. is on my desk. <gasps> Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> Take the key. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> I love that. That's his distraction. <laughs> Just to beat the shit out of Perkins, that's brilliant. There's also another bit in this in a minute that I love. From watching hey, other people's Connor. playthroughs. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Uh, low profile. I've been ordered to return to Cyber. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave immediately. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Dick. Frick. No, I said dick. <laughs> okay. Bit. This is what awesome. would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Date of birth one, two, three, four, five, six. Fucking password or his name? Fucking password. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I vaguely remember Where what you have to do Jericho? here. The answer's here somewhere. I know you have to. Piece bits of the How robots together. The deviant who took a child hostage. Four seven one seven G needed. Okay. And then these guys. The android that murdered its owner. So he's got the 4717. Right, so we take this and put it back in there. You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. Okay then. So he's got those parts. And the final guy. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Three nine eight three. Okay. So he's got three nine eight three. Yeah. Then I know what I also need. Well, I think I have to do that after, actually. Let's. 
he doesn't recognise our voice. It's dark. Where? Where am I? Uh, direct. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognise your voice. You're not one of us. Yeah, okay. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. So we have to trick him by picking this up. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Sample voice. There we go. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. because we've got time. Also, yeah, look at the diary. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. I think somehow you can get one of them to translate that. Uh, but so we just need to go back here and trick him. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. And this is where you there's a him from bit him. of a you saved floor me. in the plot. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. Why would he need the location? location? Yes. Yes, of course. He's Marcus. Obviously he knows where Jericho is, so why would he need to get direction? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! Oh. The alarm now. <laughs> so now Connor knows where Jericho is. Whoa, options! So many options. So, I guess if you've run out of time. There's some elements there, but this, look at this. Oh, so these are all, you have to, these are from previously unlocked. So yeah, obviously if you don't, if some of the other characters don't die, some of the other androids, then they're not going to be there in the exhibition room. That's so complex. We unlocked something here. Locate Jericho. So obviously in that scene there's an option that you don't find out where Jericho is. And I guess Connor's story kind of ends there and gets sent back to Cyberlife. Again, it's fascinating to know, to play out all the options and to see what happens to the characters is, it would must take hours hours and days to explore all the different options uh, and it's like very interesting to know how some of the other ways would play out I may uh, give it a go after I've played it through once they did say in the game they suggest that you play it through once and then you can go back and play different parts 
with different outcomes. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it here for today because I've been streaming for about an hour and a half and nobody's been to see me. <laughs> Nobody to chat to today, unfortunately. Uh, if you do fancy watching more of this, then I would appreciate a follow on my Twitch channel. Uh, I'm also uploading these videos on the other well-known video service um, over there as H2D2 as well. You can follow me on Twitter and have a chat on there if you if you fancy it. Um, so that's Twitter and the forward slash H2D2. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's H2D. There is no two at the end, and it's all one word: H2D. Uh, and I'm also on Facebook as well. So if you fancy it at any point, I keep saying the word fancy. Need to stop saying fancy. If you'd like to see more of me streaming Detroit, or if you have any suggestions for ways I can play through the storyline or anything, they're much appreciated. Um, I will be back later on in the week. I'm not going to make any promises, um, but aiming for a Thursday, Thursday 2 p.m. UK time ish, uh, I'll be streaming again. If you've got nothing else to do now, I suggest you head over to Lily Lena's channel. I'm going to be hosting it on here after I finish this stream. Uh, she's really good. She's been playing some Detroit, uh, God of War, um, various other things. Uh, and she's got a nice chat room. Lots of nice people to talk to in there. So if you can, check her out. Stop by. She's in my friends list, followers list. Um, yeah. Okay. That's all for the today. Thank you if you watch this on a playback and I will be back soon for more Detroit Become Human episode RA9.